Hi, my friends, Ryan here. I'm at Papago Park and I got a countering joy for you. And what I wanna to talk to you about today is taking a negative situation or a negative and turn it into joy. And just taking a situation that doesn't look very good and experiencing joy through that situation. So we've all had negative situations in our life and we have a choice. Sometimes we can just get mad or upset or we can make it into a story or make it into like a joyful experience even though something happens that's not that great. So sometimes we have to call uh, a credit card company or a medical company and our bill's wrong and we're on hold or any kind of situation that just can be negative or something happens to us at a hotel and um, we lose something or something and we could just get upset. So, but you could turn into joy. So I uh, got invited by this couple out to dinner um, and I, w I met them at a wedding over the summer. I knew the, 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 the groom, I was in the wedding and I met the, the mom and the dad of the bride and their daughter, their other daughter and they were coming out to Arizona, they wanted to go to dinner. So that was, that's one thing that makes this story a little bit wilder. I didn't really know them very well. I'm going out to this nice dinner and I got a glass of red wine and the server goes to take my order and he hits my glass, shares the glass and dumps the whole glass of wine all over my clothes. I'm totally drenched. Look at this, just totally drenched. And so I decided in that moment to kind of laugh it off instead of getting upset with the guy. The guy felt so bad, you could just tell he was just so, felt so bad. And I'm sure at restaurants like this, people freak out, they wanna get their whole meal comped or get the manager. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm here, I'm having a good time. It's just red wine. There's a lot worse things going on. So I told them, I go, hey, um, it's probably better it happened to me because I love joy instead of like maybe someone else that would have flipped on you. And he just felt so bad and brings me another glass of wine. And I decided to take pictures with him and laugh with him. Here they are, look at this guy. He, he didn't know what to do with it. He was so surprised. Like he probably thought he was gonna yell that, get the manager out. And we just laughed and we had a great time. And then it set the tone for the whole evening. And the rest of the evening, we just had so much laughter and joy. It was such a great dinner. And so it's just reminding me, and it's easier said than done. I have fallen short. There's a lot of situations where I don't um, respond with joy. I respond with negativity or respond and, and get upset about a situation. Instead of seeing people are human, we're all human. We all fall short. We all do stupid stuff. We all make mistakes. The guy didn't mean anything vicious. He just, he just knocked over a glass of wine. And I'm so glad I didn't have white on. Uh, it had color on, thankfully. So I just sat talking to this couple and their daughter who I didn't know very well uh, in soaked in red wine and just laughed it off. And so my encouragement to you is just, what can you do uh, when a negative situation comes up, how can you turn into joy? How can you turn into a story? Because sometimes just the story, I mean, look, I'm telling the story and who knows what's gonna flow out, the ripple flow out from the story to you guys or someone you might send to a friend uh, and the joy they might experience or like next time you're in a tough situation where you wanna respond, how can you respond with joy? How can you respond in laughter? How can you um, make it a good story that you laugh about for years to come. I'm probably gonna be telling this story forever. Like I've never had more wine poured on me in my life or anything poured on me like that at a restaurant. And so anyways, I hope you encounter joy from through this. Um, if you wanna be part of this joy journey with me, smash the subscribe button, click doink. And uh, you know, in the end, I went home, I washed my clothes, Nothing was wrong, look how they turned out. No problem, no stains, nothing, it all worked out. So I just got to, you know, I had to sit with some red wine on me. I hope you experienced the ripple of joy and uh, have a great day, my friends.